what's up my white tea homies it's your girl alifia coming back for another video and this video is self-explanatory i'm not even gonna talk in this intro i gotta get out of here the intro doesn't need to be long the video speaks for itself but if you're new here go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i need everybody to hit that bell so you'll be notified every time i come back with some new shenanigans so with all that being said let's get into the video so what's up y'all so i'm getting ready for work and i just wanted to come in and chit chat with you guys while I get ready for work and try a few new products that I have in my arsenal I did a haul video my first haul video of 2023 and I don't know if that haul is gonna go up before or after this video so first of all you guys know I had the first session of my microblading and I need to set my appointment for my second session. I am loving my brows. The one thing that I do want to change is I should have done ombre shading for my whole brow. Because I did the micro needling at the front and then the ombre shading in the back. And the ombre shading at the back. But I would prefer to have the ombre shading all over. I did go over my brows a little bit because of course it's the first session so they're just a little bit light right now but they are still nonetheless they look good Put a little bit more here I like the shape there's a couple of things that I do want her to change when I go back let's talk let me go pull this comment up that was left for me and before I comment start talking about this comment that was left on my channel let me just say really really quick and i mean this wholeheartedly i'm a small youtuber and while i would love for my channel to grow what i'm not going to do is deal deal with and tolerate disrespect on my channel now as a small youtuber i didn't think i would have to say anything like this give this disclaimer and all that good jazz but as i'm sorry i'm moving brushes over as a small youtuber i didn't think i would have to come on here and be talking to y'all about negative comments and while i understand that when you come on the internet i don't care what type of which form it is whether it's facebook tiktok instagram so first of all i'm going to use this coffee shop palette from juvia's place i don't know whether you're going to see it in the i'm going to i don't know if i'm going to put the haul before this or after this but i got this from ulta but anyway so i do know that we put ourselves out here in this and we are open to criticisms and things but i also know at the same time that you you can keep you you can keep it moving you, you don't have to stop here and watch my channel you don't have to you know look because at the end of the day if i want to share things about my life then that is my business that is what i'm going to do so this some butthole and I'm gonna say butthole and I'm gonna bleep their name out because I'm not gonna give them the time of day to even share their name but I am gonna share their comment and I am going to block this person on my page as well as delete the comment after this because I don't want anyone to comment back to this person and but here's the thing and here, here, here's the thing I started to leave a comment in the comment section but I, when I started and see I'm the one of those people that I, I try to think about things before I do them I try to think about what could happen what could be the repercussion behind me doing something that being said I thought about the fact that if I had left the comment that I wanted to leave I probably would have had some issues here with my channel so I, I, I did not I did not because even though that person 
came on my page and thought they were doing something by trying to say by saying the comment they made thought they were doing something they weren't doing anything but making themselves look stupid because at the end of the day i don't care what anyone has to say when it comes to me and my life and me and who i am and i'm not gonna say my life's Style because this is it wasn't like a lifestyle lifestyle you choose how you do that lifestyle and while there are people out there that would say that gay lesbian transgender people binary whatever while there are people out there that would say that we've chosen this y'all please tell me who would choose who in their right mind would choose to constantly be ridiculed? Who would choose to constantly be judged for who they are? Who would choose to possibly be have harm come to them for them being who they are? I mean, as far as I know of, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong, I, I don't I don't think that anyone in their right mind would choose for people to to put themselves out there for people to possibly cause them harm and for people to judge them on a regular basis at least i didn't at least that's that's not what i did i didn't i didn't choose i haven't chosen to be ridiculed i haven't chosen to put myself out there for somebody to call themselves tell me how to live my life i am me and i am who i am and i have known my entire life who i am i mean like i don't when people say that children in elementary school don't know and children are young, they don't know now, we're not going to get into surgeries and all that kind of stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not, I'm not going there. We're not going there. Let's just leave that like that. But I knew at an early age in elementary school who I was. And I was one of those people. And you know, that I'm sure you guys know people that do this, that go and we live our lives according to what we know the next person or how we know the next person will want us to live even if we know who we are and i've done that just like there are so many other people that have done that and you have to come into your own i had to come into my own just like everybody else has to come into their own and you have to get to a point to where you're like i'm going to be my authentic self i'm going to live my life authentically and not worry about what the next person has to say and that's where i'm at in my life i told you guys before and i don't know but quick background when i was in my 20s and all that and i worked certain careers and did certain things i didn't care who knew about my sexuality i did not care and but as i got older and got into the professional field and would hear people say things i would kind of reserve and not tell people case in point at my job where i work at now at, at this club work at now nobody knew for the longest everybody in my life knew of course but people that i worked with had no idea because even when me, my ex and i were together and i guess that is the good thing about was the good thing for about her for me because i wasn't ready to share my life with the people at work because i didn't want judgment because when i first started i started working with there were a lot of older people and the things that are gone but they were passing judgment against the younger people and also i didn't want to be that so to speak that martyr i guess you could say because i would have people that children that would come and talk to me because i am easily approachable to most of them but they would come and talk to me and tell me that somebody has said something about them and their sexuality and then they would want my opinion and because of the fact that i didn't want parents or anybody to say that i was swaying their child one way or the other i would stay away from answering or saying anything back to the comments i would simply say something like that's wrong they shouldn't judge and all that but that, so with all that being said i am living my authentic life my i'm being my authentic self now and who doesn't like whoever whomever doesn't like it that's on them so but let me read to you guys the comment that was left that's a little bit too white but anyway i'm gonna read to you guys the comment that was left and so this person says when you get a chance read Romans 128 in the Bible in all translations so oh my goodness so I guess she wants me to go to King James Version New 
King James Version, the Living, what is it, New Living Translation, Living Translation. You know, I, I know that the Bible is written in different translations to make it easily comprehensible for people. So, I guess she wants to make sure that I don't get this thing twisted, that I get a clear understanding by checking for every version. Then she says, in the beginning, God made male and female only for marriage. What God has joined, let no man separate. And you're right. What God has joined, let no man separate. Because I'm not going to let you and anyone else separate me and my wife. Because God has, I, I, I believe, I feel, and I'm, I stand firm on the fact that God is with us and within our marriage. Because the part that y'all fail to realize when y'all sit up here and say things like this, God loves everybody. And God, I, I, I highly doubt if he's saying, oh my goodness, I don't love her because of what she's doing. So I'm not a Bible pusher or Bible thumper, but I just want to let you know that I do believe my God. I don't know about your God, but I do believe my God loves me. And you and no one else can take that away from me. So please know that. Y'all can't take that away from me. Y'all can't take that belief away from me. Then it says, she says it again, God created marriage, male and female, for each other only. Anything other than that is not of God, and he makes no mistake. And you're right. He made no mistake on me. He made no mistake on me and when it comes to anything. Trials, tribulations, and all that. Everything that I've went through, he did that for a purpose to make me who I am right now. So right, right. He doesn't make any mistakes. You are absolutely correct in your, in, in your synopsis and what you're saying. And I thank you for saying that because that just further solidifies and lets me know that I am who I'm supposed to be. And then she says, so Sodom and Gomorrah thought different and he destroyed both cities because men wanted to be with men and women wanted women. Oh, okay. So you want to take and quote that one and go with that. But what about when men gave away their, their, their children, their young daughters? You know, let's go on that. Go and read Sodom and Gomorrah full, fully to the fullest extent. Go and read the whole thing. Go and read everything because here's the thing. When it comes to the Bible, y'all take y'all Bible pushers, y'all Bible thumpers, you take one verse and you twist it and make it to whatever you want it to be, whatever narrative you want it to be and, you know, go ahead and look at the rest of it. Go ahead and read the rest of what is in there and Sodom and Gomorrah and any other verse that you want to quote. Then it, she goes on to say, you were made only for a man, not a woman. It is an abomination. It is a abomination. It should be and. You need to use the and. You know, there, the article and. There's a, and, and the. And before words with a vowel sound or that begin with the vowels, you always use the and. So you say a abomination. That's incorrect. So it's an abomination. Just want to give you that quick lesson real quick. When God made you, he didn't make a mistake. It is, an, it is a abomination to God and don't allow people to deceive you. Who's deceiving me? Who? Who? Oh, please, please tell me. Enlighten me. Because when you say it's not right to let people deceive you, I wish you would have given some examples. Because, I mean, I, I just wish you would have let me know who these people are. Because since you're saying people are deceiving me, I really would like to go and ask them why they're deceiving me. Because that is not right. Deception in and, in and of itself is so wrong. And I would love for you to tell me so that I can go and tell them, stop deceiving me. So, I, I, yeah, make sure, you know, I, when you go and create this next account so that you can comment because you can't comment, comment on this one. But make sure you go and you find out and get that list together for me of the people that say or the, get that list for me of the people that are deceiving me because I really need to talk to them. I think that that's it's only right because for you to be telling me that. And for you to hold back from me that these people are deceiving me and not tell me the names of the people that are deceiving me, then I think that you are, you're being very deceptive as well. And I don't, you know, you shouldn't do that. And then she goes on to say, even though people die every day, there are people who don't believe they will die. I, oh my gosh. So there are people around who here, here who thinks they are immortal. Like, because I really thought that we all knew and we all, you know, because we know. I really thought we all knew that we were mortal beings. So, I really would like for you to tell me who these people are that think they're... So, like I was saying before my battery went out, I wish you would let me know who these people are that think they are not going to die. Because when I tell you, if I could have helped pick that list of these immortal people, my mama would have been on the list. 
my mother she would have been on that list all right you guys and i showed you well let me stop saying i showed you because i don't know how i'm going to upload these videos so my first haul video that i created that i made i told you guys about this pat mcgrath and I, pat mcgrath which one is what is it the i'm talking which one this is the only foundation she has skin fetish sublime perfection foundation tint and this is the one i've had right here and this is the new one and as you can see they clearly have different undertones and i'm not going to go to the website right now to try to see what i put the undertones on there but this one right here that i've been had is medium 21 that's the one that i've been using and i wanted medium 21 again but it was sold out and but and to get this at a sale because they had it on sale i got a medium 20 and the undertones in this one are a little reddish so it does make me look a little toasty when i put this on because i do have neutral undertones and it doesn't make me look a little toasty, but I, I do. I like it. I wore it yesterday for the first time, and so I'm going to wear it today. And also, let me tell you guys, this, I got this. This is something else that I had in my haul. This is Urban Veda's Turmeric and Botanics Radiance Day Cream. Girl, this stuff right here, I've only used it two days. It feels like I'm rubbing a pillow sock cushion or something on my face. It is so, I love the way it feels. All right. So then let's see what else we got. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't read further. She does say we all know we'll die. She says, we all know one day we will die and it's not good to live here on earth how you want, how we want and die and go to hell not knowing when our last day will be young or old. Car accident. Okay, wait. This is a big long run on sentence. So put Grammarly. I'm going to need her to put Grammarly on her computer. So because this, this is a big long run on sentence. So let me see what it says again. <clears throat> me, me, me. We all know one day we will die and it's not good to live here on earth how we want and die and go to hell not knowing when our last day will be younger old car accident or not or not walk or not wake up at all when we lay down and sleep. Oh Jesus I had to inhale on that one. So yeah we 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 do all know that we're gonna die. I mean it is it is what it is. It is life and it is a part of life and that is what happens. So this is what this looks like though. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys. And so it is a part of what happens. And so I, I know that I'm going to die. I know that I'm going to die just like you know that you're going to die. Or at least I hope you know that you're going to die. Since you put it in there, I, I would presume that you know that you're going to die. And it's okay. But to sit up here and say that it's not good to live here on earth how we want. So now, now, now I'm... I'm I'm a little bit confused because of the ambiguity here because it's not you says it's not good to live how we want but you didn't specify what you mean by how we want and and why I say that I say that there's ambiguity in that is because that is an open statement that could apply to anything in life you started off telling me talking to me about what i should be doing in my household in my bedroom because that's what you worried about you worried about what goes on in my bedroom and you don't need to be worried about that but you sit up here and you say we all can live here how we want so if that is the case i don't know how you're living but you need to stop living that way whatever in that way of living that way of life that you are are living you better stop because you can't live the way you want because no one can live the way they want that's what you say we can't live here on earth the way we want so i anyone that is living the way they want heterosexual lesbian rich middle income whatever the case is if that is how you want to live you better stop because we can't live here how we want I, I love when people make ambiguous statements. One thing we have to remember, we all have to die alone and we can't take anyone with us to meet God. And he tell us to depart from him and go to hell or welcome to his kingdom. So I'm glad that you've gone there and you've talked to him and he's told you because the way you just said that is like you've personally talked to him and he's told you've seen him tell somebody or he's told you that's the secret and that's how it goes. But I want to go back to the part where you say that we all die alone Did you, is it that what i said yeah we all have to die alone that's what you said 
That's what you said. And considering the fact that we all have to die alone, why the hell are you? Why, why, why are you telling me about me and how I'm living? Because you just sat there and said that I have to be accountable for myself because I die alone. And that when I get there, that my God is going to tell me that I have to go to hell or, or, or whatever. Um, you know, that, that you've talked to him personally. He's told you that that's how he does things. And so then that means since you're talking about me and how I live, that he's going to tell me that I have to go and I have to depart from his kingdom because I I can't stay in his kingdom. That's what you're telling me. So since you have all the inside information and since you've talked to him and he's your right hand man, go on up there and put a good, go, go ahead and talk to him, put in a good word for me and let him know, uh, you know, since you, since you're saying all this, go and put a good word in for me. Girl, thank you. This relationship is not of God. And it is not what God created. Then there's only one other person we are serving and it is the devil. So yeah, we, you said there's only one person we are serving. You're talking about you because, you know, you said we, so that's collective. So you and your clan or whomever you're talking about, yeah, y'all are serving the devil because as for me and my household, as for me and my wife, we don't serve the devil. So you're not speaking for me. So whomever it is that you, you and your posse, you and your clan, y'all better stop serving the devil. I'm telling you, y'all better stop serving the devil because it 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 it, mm -mm. it doesn't work for y'all it doesn't work for y'all so y'all may want to stop doing that and then you said this relationship is not of god what relationship is not of god what relationship is it that you actually referring to because you said this so i i, I don't know i don't know which, which relationship are you talking about that's not of god the relationship with you and your friends and, and how you live your life or what, what relationship are you talking about because sweetie I, I promise you you're not talking about me and my wife you're not you're not because you can't tell me what is and what isn't of god when it comes to me and mine so then she goes so because the world say say it's okay doesn't matter what god say <laughs> so you're saying that as a child and as a young lady growing up all my life i've listened to what the world has told me and be mindful and and i'm just gonna let you know be mindful i'm 49 years old I am 49 years old. So, and I told you I knew who I was as a child, which means that if you think about think about it and I calculate it, at 49 years old, we didn't have social media. We didn't have all that. So the world didn't tell me anything because I wasn't exposed to the world. So no, 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 no. The world didn't have a role in this. They the world the world didn't have a role in who I am because the world didn't know me and I didn't know the world. You say Yes, he loves us all, but when we are disobeying him, he has no other choice but to let us go. Mm. So, like I said, once again, since you've been there and you've talked to him and got a first-hand account, go ahead and put in a good word for me. Go and talk to him for me. Go and talk to him for me. It's stated and you will know the truth and it will set you free because God is the only truth. Mm. So I want you to make sure that when you're saying this and when you're talking about this and you're coming on my page and anybody else's and you're saying things like this because I promise you I promise you I I there's no way anybody could tell me that I'm the only person that you've you, you've come on page you, you've done this before you probably scroll around and go in and and look up people that are are gay or, or lesbian or whatever you probably that's probably what you do you and the other four people yes as a small youtuber I can see I see when I lose subscribers but you followers or subscribers you and the other four you and the other three people because I lost four people since I put up part two I didn't lose anybody with part one but part two I wonder what it was about part two of my video that made me lose people well but you put your comment in part one but I hope you get the chance to go and watch part two because in my honest opinion part two is better than part one girl you better go and check it out then you go on to say choose a life which is God or choose death what Satan choose over God again in the end you will not take anyone with you when you die the woman that's with you or anyone well, I do hope that whenever we, I go or she goes, I, I hope, I, I don't want to take, I, no, 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 I don't want to take her with me because I don't know, and I'm not trying to take her with me when I die and anyone else because I do know that, you know, while people will die, you know, may die in the same time, same place, you never know what can happen, like you said, car accident or anything like that, but at the end of the day, I'm still going by myself and she's still going by herself, so... And when you say that woman, make sure you put a handle on that. 
your wife. So when you're referring to her, say, make sure you say my wife because she's not the woman. She's my wife. Then you say, don't be fooled with the lust of the world. Hmm. Oh gosh, there are a lot of lustful things that people do in the world. Girl, Oh, I got this Pat McGrath concealer because I got, not concealer, but this powder, this under eye powder. And I did get this one in medium. I wish I had gotten in light because, gotten it in light because it is darker than what it looks like in the, in the pan. So, I wish I had, well, when it comes on. So, I said that I was going to start wearing lighter lipstick. So, when I take it and I rub it and I put it on here, it looks almost beige. But when I put it on, it kind of has a little oxidation to it, I think. Or it makes the concealer oxidize. And yeah, so all these people that are being lustful in what they're doing, oh my God, y'all better stop. Y'all better stop because what I have for my wife is love. It is love. I love my wife. I'm in love with my wife. There's nothing lustful about it. <laughs> well, <laughs> not how you think. Let's put it that way. Not how you think. I'm going to go ahead and finish reading this and, and we can finish talking because I got to get ready to go. Hey, mama. It's because I got to get ready to go. Any, and then she says it again. Anything outside of God and his love is the four-letter word lust. It's not God if he didn't create it. Then who did? Ask yourself that question. Please don't die in lust thinking it's love. It's just, it's lust and that only come from the devil. It should be comes. Subject verb agreement. That's only, that only come from the devil. God, uh, God also said he has in large hell because more people want to go just don't let it be you so you're saying the devil is in hell so you're saying the devil is in hell and operates hell but at the same time you're saying that God went and multiplied and he grew hell where the devil is so he grew the devil's home versus the devil growing it mm. Praying for you and that God will open your understanding to want to love your Father in Heaven more and live the way He chose us to live and love. Amen. So, please don't pray for me. That's that's first and foremost. Don't pray for me. Don't, don't pray for me. I appreciate the offer. I do. But don't pray for me. I don't need nor want your kind of prayer. So, whenever you're praying, keep me out of that number. Keep me out of that, that, that prayer. Because that prayer... Is definitely not a prayer that I want. And, and please don't put me on the, the, the prayer list at your church. I, I, I don't want to be on that one either. So, no. Nah, don't, don't put me on none of that. I, I, I don't need it. Don't, don't pray for me. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, oh, Lord. See, the, this person apparently didn't watch my video where I was saying something about matching energy and what we're doing in 2023. Because, baby, I got to hope. I got to watch what I say. I got to watch what I say because, oh, child, my dang compression. I gotta watch what I say because baby when I tell you, when I tell you, you trying to make me go out of character. You trying to make me go out of character up on here on this good channel. You trying to make me go out of character. But like I like I said, and I you know, please find you some something to do and somebody to play with. And please don't worry about me and my life and me and mine. Because as far as I can see, as far as I can tell you, baby, we're good over here. We are good over here. We, we, we don't need that. We don't need your negativity over here this way. We don't need it. We don't want it. We're not buying into it. We're not feeding into it. You can take that and put it somewhere else. Put, put, put that somewhere else. Yeah, not over here. I'm just wondering, what is it that makes these people in these good internet streets think that they can just come and say whatever they want to say to people? I'm going to use this Phoenix Highlight by Melt Cosmetics. And... It, it says it's a highlighter, but y'all look at, I don't know. I don't, I, I did partially use it yesterday, but I didn't use it yesterday, if that makes sense. Like I was saying, like, I don't know what is it about people that makes them think that it's okay to come on people's pages and all that with those shenanigans. Because at the end of the day, I don't know about the next person, but I didn't ask you anything. I didn't ask you anything. And if you have a problem with anything about me or my life, then you don't even have to come to my page. You don't have to come and watch my video. I did purchase some lip glosses that I, I want to try. But I don't want to try them right now because I am about to eat breakfast. And I know they're going to come off if I do lip, lip gloss. So I'm just going to put on some liquid lipstick. Basically, I just want to say to anyone that feels like 
they stop doing things like that to people stop doing things to, to, to people and saying things and being negative to people on their channels and and you know just just get, like leave people alone because at the end of the day even if this was a choice even if i got up one day and woke up and said oh yeah i think i think i'm just gonna be gay even if i got up one day and just made a choice it would be, it would be my choice and i don't need you or anybody else coming to tell me about me or my choices if that was the case but like i said this was not a choice i've known who i am and i was I, god like you said god makes no mistakes god didn't make a mistake when he created me the way he created me so you can take all those shenanigans take all that energy and put it somewhere else put it somewhere else because mm -mm, i don't need it over here i don't want it over here take that negativity on because i don't need people like you preying on me P-R-E-Y-I-N-G, praying on me. And I don't need you to pray for me. Pray for yourself. That's what you do. Pray for yourself and don't worry about me over here because I'm good. I'm good. I promise you. I'm good. Alright you guys, it's me and I'm back and I'm done and I'm about to get out of here and go to work. I do want to say thank you all so much for coming back to watch another video here on the channel. If there is anything that you would like to see, please do let me know uh, so we can get this thing popping in 2023. Y'all, I'm loving my hair and I'm going to do a braid out. It's time. I need to do a braid out. But anyway, thank you so much for coming to check out another video here on my channel. I do appreciate it. Please go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video across all your social media sites. And so until next time, in the between time, you ladies and gentlemen, be safe. And I will do what? Catch you on the flip side. Bye.